Hello guys, this is Martin. This is a guide video for new players of Lost Ark. Contents of Lost Ark are cross-server. Auction House is cross-server. You can enjoy contents of Lost Ark with players in other servers. So if you play by yourself, then just pick any server you like. But if you want to play with your friend, or join a particular guild then you need to create in same server as your friend or the guild which class you need to create first is not important do not follow other players recommendations but just follow your heart whatever you like to play is the best class for you always you don't need to worry about your classes low popularity because in Lost Ark, if you get enough gear score, engraving, and etc., then each of classes has their own strength. It is always the gear score, engraving, tripod, and configuration of the party, not matter of which class is yours. Again, pick any classes you like to play so you won't regret it. You can play prologue or you can skip it. Every profession has their own prologues. Every prologue takes about 2 hours to complete. After you complete or skip the prologue, you can choose your class. Check out the play video and play trial of classes and pick any class you want. After class selection, you'll start from level 10. Press P, you can check out your item level is 50. Island level is important than battle level. Press I and based on your region, you might have a supporting chest. If you hit particular level, you will keep getting supporting chest. Unlike gears, you need to keep changing your accessories whenever you get better ones. If you find accessory with blue upward arrow symbol, then press right click to wear it. For earrings and rings, if you want to change second earring or ring, then press alt right click to change them. Why you need a pad? Because pad will loot every items on the floor instead of you. And you can use their convenient functions. For example, pad can carry some more items through pad. You can open storage and gear repair. Cosmetics can increase your attacking point slightly but most of cool part of it makes your character look more cooler press alt y you can open auction house in auction house you can buy almost everything you can buy those items with gold and felons gold is main currency for auction house and you must pay felons for items which has trade limit every dungeons you enter through the story is designed for solo play and you can complete hard mode of every dungeons with party every time you level up you'll get skill points los arc has unique system for skills if you hit 4 7 10 level of your skills you can activate tripod of the skill with which tripod you use for your skills your skill work very differently you can choose tripod for mob of monsters or one boss monster especially skills with outstanding mobility tripod are helpful so i recommend activate those tripod on your skills for complete dungeons and quests faster and the spacebar is your mover skill you can escape and skip monsters with it also when you're knocked down press spacebar so you can get up you can check out cooldown time of spacebar in the middle down of your screen in Los Ark, you'll meet different type of quests, but don't worry, you can just focus on a few quests only for now. This quest is what you must complete through the whole story. This is literally a main quest. The goal of this quest is finding the arts. You'll get this quest when you go sail in the ocean for the first time. You must complete this so you can complete the dungeon. So check out this quest whenever you enter the dungeon. This quest gives you good rewards, so you have to complete eventually. Almost every rewards from this quest are essential, so just complete them. It's not necessary to complete them all, but if you find any yellow quest with chain symbols, 
they usually give you good rewards like skill points. It's not necessary to complete them all as well. Almost every of these quests has same quest area as main quest. So if you have plenty time to enjoy the story, complete them too. Unlike other MMORPGs, you don't need to do leveling yourself, but just follow the story you'll get level up. If you skipped every yellow and red quest until you get to Ardatine continent, you need to complete some of yellow quests until you hit 49.5 of that level. So you can hit the level 50 while you're progressing the entrance quest of the North Burn. After you complete story in the North Burn, you can finally enhance your gears. That means you can now upgrade your item level. To enhance your gears, you need materials. And to get these materials, you should complete contents such as Chaos Dungeon and etc. per day or per week. And this will be your daily and weekly life in Lost Ark. If you complete every story in these continents, register Blue Waypoint near Castle Vern, or press Alt W to register Bifrost, and go to the Shushire continent, complete the story in there, and press Function to play Song of the Return. If you register Vern at Return Point, now you can try Chaos Dungeon Level 1 of Vern. For Enter Chaos Dungeon, you spend 50 of energy. Every reset time, you will get 100 of energy for Chaos Dungeon. You can loot gears and material in Chaos Dungeon. Chaos Dungeon has three stages. To complete it, you need to complete the gauge top left of your screen. You can complete the Chaos Dungeon by yourself. In first stage of Chaos Dungeon, if you kill enough of monsters, you'll find a portal to next stage. In second stage, you need to kill seed monsters first. You can find their location on the map. Their symbols are yellow with horn. After kill them all, you'll meet the boss monster of second stage. And you have to kill the boss monster as well. Then the portal for next stage will appear. To kill those seed monsters easily, pick tripod effects such as freeze, electric shock, or fear on your skill. In third stage, after you kill the monsters, you'll find red rock and break it, kill every monster, then you'll complete the chaos dungeon. This bonus stage could open randomly, you can get gold from that stage. With gears you loot from chaos dungeon, change your gears to them and keep enhancing your gears until item level 460. If you get gears with better quality, recycle your old gears to your new gears. If you get better accessories, wear it right away. For jewels, just keep compounding them until level 9. You can change the effect of jewels by jewel NPC. Now you'll have a lot of gears which you don't use, dismantle them to materials. Complete story in Rohanda Continent. Keep enhancing your gear until item level 600. Complete story in Yorn Continent. Get new gears from Chaos Dungeon of Yorn. Recycle your old gears to new gears. Keep enhancing your gear until item level 960. Complete story in Python Continent. Keep enhancing your gear until item level 1100. Complete story in Papanika Continent. Get new gears from Chaos Dungeon of Papanika. Recycle your old gears to new gears. Now your item level is 1300. From item level 1300, keep enhancing all of your gears until plus 15. While you're enhancing your gears, you can enjoy Abyss Dungeons. Item level 1325 and 1340, you can enter new Abyss Dungeons. But before you try it, you must recycle all of your gears to new gears, where you can get them from 3rd level of Papnika's Chaos Dungeon. If you complete both of Abyss Dungeon, you can claim about 1400 gold. Also in Island of Grief, which is located south of Popnica, you can get a red skein. With red skein, you can trade it to legendary engraving books, which are expensive. Or other ways to get more gold in Lost Ark, you can check out them from this video. Look, you're not a newbie anymore. And that's it for today guys. If this video helps you enjoy Lost Ark, please give it a like and subs the channel for more information. And if you have any questions, please join my Twitch and ask me anything. Thank you for watching. See you next video.